All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's good. All right. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Gospel, Gospel Truth. Truth. I'm Dean. And I'm Audrey. And this week we're celebrating Christmas! Yes, we made it! Look, we did I it! We graduated. We made it to Christmas. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're excited. We're super excited. We're super excited to have made it. Four weeks of Advent, hopefully your preparation, all of that. You were able to really get into the mood and the meaning of Christmas because yeah. now you're here. We're here, but and now what do we do? And right? what do we do? Now Jesus is here. Oh, it's over. Let's put away the, no, let's that, put the no. decorations away. We're done. That's Christmas over. Far from what we should oh, be doing. Okay. Um, and so today we want to focus on this theme of light and true joy. Mm. Right? And so we want to talk about and reflect a little bit about what Christmas means to us this year. Um, now having a daughter and how, you know, we can tie in some light and, and some themes around light and joy okay. with that. Yeah. So, um, a lot of the readings focus on like light. Yeah, I think rejoicing. The, the one that we really want to focus on really is is the the idea from Isaiah. We should go to the midnight mass. We unfortunately will not be able to do a midnight mass because we got we got our baby. We can't have her up yeah. at midnight. But um, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great yep. light. Right. That's like a a well known verse from yeah. Isaiah. Yeah. And we wanted to really focus on that idea of light and mm -hmm. how when Jesus came into the world, he was this new promise of bringing light, yeah. this, this, this new source of brightness in, for our entire world. Yeah. Right. And yeah. To this day, that light still shines. Right. When we put up our Christmas trees, when we attend mass, like that is his light still resonating within uh, within his people today. Yeah. And yeah. light is such a common theme throughout like. I mean, just Catholicism, right? Mm -hmm. We think about it and how light is greater than darkness, but today it's extra special. Yeah. Um, and you know, thinking back on this past year, um, I feel Christmas has um, really changed, like the meaning of Christmas, as, as cheesy as that sounds. Yeah, I feel like um, choked up. I know, yeah. having, um, having a daughter has really changed Christmas for us and what that means. And she's brought this new light yeah. into our lives and we're experiencing a joy that we've never experienced before and we probably could have never experienced with each other because having a daughter um, and just having a child alone is so different uh, yeah. yeah and I think I think many parents can probably attest to that right when you're able to see your child experience their first Christmases yeah and you see like they experience so much joy you see the light in their eyes and then that light like enters your heart and it's just so beautiful uh, yeah it's and it's and what's um so interesting is because sophia is still i mean she's still a baby right so like everything is new to her and things that are so mundane and like things we don't even think about um are interesting at all they're so interesting to her yeah and it's 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 just an interesting like what perspective I think to kind of like if I put you know my if I put myself in my daughter's shoes like just finding joy and light in such little things like when um, when Dean plays the ukulele for her, it's like the best thing in the world and to me because I mean he does it all the time I'm like oh it's just Dean playing the ukulele but yeah. for her it's the best thing ever and I think we're learning a lot um, through our daughter to just find the light in everyday things mm -hmm. And it's it's so meaningful, especially around Christmas time, through the hustle and bustle of like needing to find, you know, the gifts and no, like, not just to the get gift. Ready. You need to find the perfect gift. Yeah, it needs to be the best because that's the only way yeah. that you can express this this Christmas season. Is yeah, and that's the only way you can find joy, right? But like um, our daughter, like just through her, like I don't need to the perfect gift. Uh, she doesn't need the perfect gift, even though we want to give her everything, right? Yeah. Like just being together and her being with us, I can tell that that's the joy um, she needs. That's yeah. all she needs. And I, I, I love that we're her light and she's our light yep. and nothing else. Yeah, I mean, it was, it's such a nice sort of reset, right? Mm -hmm. It just reminds us that we can truly find light in these these ordinary and these simple things. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just such, it's such a beautiful time 
beautiful, a beautiful season for her because like and to have her here during this season because it just reminds us really like yeah, it, it's it's possible to find light in these things. Yeah, especially in the craziness of the season mm -hmm. commercially. Yeah, obviously. Um, but let's remember that you know, Christmas does not just last for one day. Yeah, right. Like commercially. Yeah. They're they're done, right? Once Christmas, December twenty fifth is, it's time to restock the shelves with yeah. some Valentine's Day stuff. You're gonna see some Valentine's stuff. Day decorations at Target like tomorrow. Yeah. I already know like, it. Like that's it. They're done. Yeah. But the beauty of this is that for us as Catholics, the Christmas season is just beginning. Yes, we have two weeks. We have two weeks we have of the two Christmas weeks season to celebrate, yeah. and let's remember that that you know, you know, the true light and the true joy of the Christmas season of the Chris of Christmas goes deeper than just today. Mm -hmm. We have two whole weeks to enjoy that. And I think, you know, it's it's especially what what I love about it is that commercially the decorations are gone, but like for us, it still goes on, right? Yeah. And so if we've been doing our um, if we've been practicing and, and doing well and meditating and reflecting, we should be a little good now at like finding joy and finding light in the ordinary things. So mm -hmm. let's remember that even though the decorations are gone, let's find light and joy in, in our everyday lives yeah. and keep flexing that muscle we've been doing to reflect and meditate um, beyond just today and beyond the season even. Yeah, exactly. I, I love that message. Yeah. Keep on shining that light yeah. not just on the 25th but the 26th the 27th january march keep on yeah. shining that light yeah right? and it'll before you know it you're just because you've been putting it into practice it's something you'll be able to just make a part of your daily routine and your daily life and your you'll, your heart will feel so much lighter for finding the joy and, and the light in everyday things yeah so and it's because of christmas we're able to do that yeah so honestly we, we sincerely hope that your Christmas, however you celebrate it, with, with your families, with your loved ones, opening gifts, however you choose to do it, we really hope that you have such an amazing, amazing Christmas. Yeah. And um, yeah, on, on behalf of our family and, and our little daughter too, we just want to wish you the, the best, the best, best Christmas and the best season. Yes, we're wishing you the most joyous Christmas and holiday season. And we'll catch up with you guys again next week. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye -bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Bye.